And so we have spotted our first iceberg. This one was so big when it first started. And here we are in Fairyland. It's a little tiny. Right. What do you see, dear? I see myself as a cell phone. <laughs> All right. What do you see over there? An iceberg right over there. 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 Really cool. Very cool. Bonavista Whale and Puffin Tours, and this is the Fog Tour. I mean, the Iceberg Tour. <laughs> Hi, dear. Hello. And Durham is our captain. He was actually our captain in 2019. Barry is our first mate. And this is Bonavista. I don't know why I fixed my hair today. Look at this. We are still in search of icebergs. There's our search. Can you find them? Here, are you finding the icebergs? Not yet. You're not doing a good job, maybe. No, I'm I've seen lots and lots of them. Because as you look out in this fog, you literally, your eyes start to go. If there's a word for that, I don't know what it is. We've hit the We've hit the ocean, matey. Arr, she blew. No, she doesn't. I want to be like, ah! <laughs> Dear, why don't you sit down? We're going to sit here and kind of bob with the wave. People are going to be like, why couldn't you hold that camera still? <laughs> yeah. Right, so the lighthouse is over there. It's a very famous Cape Bonavista. It's one of the, he said the, it is the most photographed lighthouse in Newfoundland. What? They just now saw There's the iceberg. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! I don't know what kind of pictures I can get. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. There it is. There it is. <laughs> this is too cool. It may be foggy, yeah. but we can still see it. Yep.
does does your West Virginia thing make it better? And yes. what is this? Move this thing off of your face. Look like you have a jawbone mandible coming out of here. All right. Was that spectacular? Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Even though there was one and it's very, very foggy, it was amazing. And I don't know why I did my hair today because cut through the fog. We did cut through the fog. Who knows what kind of pictures I have, but it was amazing. And where else can you see a, an iceberg that's what, 60, what is it, 70 feet high? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing. Yeah, because it was so it was amazing. And here we are, we are headed back. There's our boat. There's our other boat. There are seven of us and one baby. And apparently, oh, poor Maria. Oh, we also saw some puffins. And unfortunately, there's only me and Mark and another guy that are not sick. Everybody else is sick, but I feel bad for them. It got a little bit rough, but we were too concentrated on the iceberg to notice, right? Yep. And we um, didn't, and we didn't fall, even though Mark stood on my foot for like ten seconds while I was screaming, "You're standing on my foot! You're standing on my foot!" Meanwhile, he's balanced in the corner over there on not, my foot. And I'm not wearing my glasses because there'd be no use. They're fogged up. Yeah, I was like, "Mark, can you even see?" No. I'm like, take your glasses off. Do his head. back in the fall. All right, and this is why we came here. Look at that. All ice. Your waypoint is ahead. Thank you. Ming Bright, Newfoundland. Stop. Is there anybody behind us? Okay, stop. I need to stop and take some of these pictures. Look at how cool that would look. Look at that picture. Yeah. This poor man said, do you like that iceberg? And we said, yes, we love it. He says, I hate it. We thought he was kidding. And he said, nope. When it came in, it took out my wharf which is this pier, I'm like, oh, I can see why you would hate it. This is actually half the size of it. If you can compare it to that two-story house, you can see just how big this is. I was hoping a seal or a bald eagle or something would be on it. And then the other half of it was out there. And this is why it's sitting here. It's literally grounded into this ice. This is Ming Bright. We took a hundred mile detour.
Nicole, put your window down. Sorry, you're gonna freeze. I know. Well, the wind's not blowing this way, so it's not bad. Okay, so Mark is going to brave the elements to get us some birdie bits. What? Grab as many as you can find, dear. Mark is braving the elements. He didn't want to take the time to get his coat. Be careful. <laughs> I bet he's wishing he'd taken time to get that coat. Windchill's probably 15, maybe. Just don't fall there. Don't fall, don't fall. Mark is grabbing birdie bits for us. Birdie bits are pieces of iceberg that have broken off and gone to the shore. That's a brave man. <laughs> he loves his family. I'm going to try to get these home. grab some more but I would have grabbed a big chunk to put in our cooler yeah. yes I would have you put cooler in the cooler we wouldn't need ice the rest of the trip what what I told you to get your winter coat second and this is our inside <laughs> because it's all out there. All right dear you ready? Yeah. Last goodbye to the birdies. Goodbye birdies. Bye, oh it's starting to melt. I iced it as good as I can. This is I scoot back a little. <laughs> this is iceberg. Salty? Here, leave it on. Okay. Taste that side where I didn't like. Oh, you bit it. No salt. Mm 